Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I've got another fun fold card and this is a inside panel fold card and when you open it, it reveals these cupcakes. Now the inspiration for this was on Pinterest. It was actually a tutorial by Scrapbooking With Me um, and I've just put my spin on it and I really like it. So I am using another really fun first edition set of dies which I'll share with you in a moment. But how nice is that? And I've used my favourite holographic mirrored cardstock there. So much shine to this card, it looks great. Um, and I kept the front quite simple because the idea is that it will be presented and displayed that way. And then on the back you can write your message and I'll just put there, send in many wishes your way. And again I've put some nice foiled, um, you know, the holographic card there and then I've put a layer of the pattern paper and then the white on top. But how good's that? Okay, so this is the dies that I've used. These ones are called Build Your Own Cupcake. Okay, and um, you get one cupcake base, no sorry, two cupcake bases, yeah that's right, two cupcake bases, you get this one here with the sprinkles, okay, so you've got that style or you've got this one here, so I've gone for that style on all of them and then I've popped that one on the one on the front so you can see there how it would go, then you've got some icing, that's some more icing, that one goes that way, yeah, then you've got the candle and you've got the little cherry there. It's really, really fun and it's one of those timeless die sets. I mean, this will be used for years and years and years. Stuff like this doesn't go, you know, out of fashion. So really pleased to have got my hands on that one. As always, all the links will be shared on my blog. So I've gone ahead and made them all up. So they're very, very straightforward. You just die cut one of the bases, one of the, you know, whatever top you want. The cherry, I've just kind of nestled in because these are actually little kind of slots so I've just put the cherry in one of them and then I've just put the candle on the back and you can see there where it's all kind of stuck on top of each other so really straightforward to put together so I've already done my four for the inside so I've done two with the yellow and two with the blue background all with that same um, cardstock this is using the chasing rainbows papers and again they're all be shared but that's all of those ones done and then like I said the one on the front I've put the yay little topper on that one instead of the candle. I've already done my happy birthday. This was a tattered lace happy birthday die. Um, I die cut it in the same holographic card and then I die cut some foam. And you can see there the purple foam on the back but it gives it about a one eighth of an inch lift. So it's got that dimension. So you can see there where it's stuck down, how that is lifted off, it looks really good. So I've done that. I've just got these little bunting dies that I had. I got these from the works. I shared them over on my Facebook page some months ago now, but they're really handy and I've just die cut a few of them. So I'm going to put some on the front this time, but you can see there where I've added it. And then I've just die cut these stars, which I've done there as well. Okay, so that's all my little kind of bits to decorate. But of course, you can make this with whatever you have in your craft room. Okay, so to make this card, mine's going to be a six by six card base. So I just got some of my 12 by 12 card and just cut it down to 6 by 12 and then along the 12 inch side scored at 6 and fold in half and that will give you your 6 by 6 card base or you can use a pre-made 6 by 6 card base which are readily available. So I'm just going to burnish that there and then I've got all of my mats and layers here so I'm going to use the holographic card here which is the Dovecraft which I've used in many tutorials you can see there the rainbow effect you get I've got four pieces of this because I'm putting them on every side so you see I've got one on the front one on each side on the inside and one on the back so again it's entirely up to you how you want to mat and layer so these four pieces here are five and three quarters squared okay so four pieces and then for my layers inside these are five and five eighths of an inch squared or five and a half squared. It's up to you whether you want a quarter of an inch increment or just the one eighth of an inch increment. But I've got two of those and then you'll want it in another colour to go on the front. Okay. And then you'll need a white one for the back, which I forgot to do. So that's this one here. So I've got another mat there, which is the size I've just given you, the five and three quarters or the five and five eighths squared. And then that one there you would do is five and a quarter. Okay squared. Then for the actual kind of um, pop out piece inside I guess where you've got these here okay I have got one piece is 12 inches because I've used pattern paper from the 12 by 12 pack um, but this here is the 
A4 length, so this is the 11 and 3 quarters, 11 and 5 eighths length, that's the length that it will end up being. If you've got 11 inches, you can still do it, you'll see in a minute what will happen. So this one here is the A4 length by one inch, and then this is going to, you can see there, it's going to layer on top. And this piece is three quarters of an inch. At the moment it's by 12, but it will go down to the same length as this. So you can see there what I've done, it's just creating this strip here, which has got the holographic card, and then this one's got the star paper over the top. You can see it joins up just just about to the each end there. Okay, so I'll get rid of that. Okay, so first of all, you want to stick down all your mats and layers. So I'm just going to use some of my tape here. Okay, so I've got my front here, so I'm going to stick that one there, and I'm going to add these two either side. So I'm going to have one, I might cut it down a little bit, and then one, yeah, I'll have them a little bit higher. I'll trim them down because I want them to be just above the cupcake, but that looks really cute. So I've just put some foam adhesive on the back of this one, so I'm going to stick this one down first. And I'm just adding a very small amount of my tacky glue here. And sit this one so it meets at the top. You don't need much. And whenever you're using mirrored cardstock and wet glue, do it, use it as normal. And if you get it on here and it goes a bit, um, you know, catches on the mirror cardstock, let it dry completely. And then with a piece of kitchen towel or tissue paper, just wipe it off. And I promise you it comes off straight away. Don't rub it with your finger when it's still wet or anything like that, because it will ruin it. So don't worry if I was to now get a little bit splodging out the sides and it came up over the mirrored cardstock, it's fine. You can still sort that out. So I'm going to do that one. All I'm going to do, hang on, where did I just do that? Oh, I'm going to keep that exactly the length that it is. Like so. Okay, so I can see that. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bit of glue just gone on this end bit here. I'm going to just leave that now, and then I'll get a bit of tissue paper, um, and that will, yeah, kitchen roll, and that will come off straight away. But there's the front of the card. How cute's that? I'm not going to put happy birthday or anything else like that, because when they open it up, this is where all the fun will be. So what you want to do is with your strip here, so this is my A4 length, okay? If it's 11 inches, you can still use it. It just means you won't meet right at the ends here, but that's not the end of the world. All you want to do is, I'm not using my scoreboard, is I'm just going to fold it in half, because everybody will probably have slightly different lengths, and just fold that and burnish, and then bring one side up to the middle and again fold and just burnish and then this side like so it's nice and easy and then what will happen is you'll stretch it out and it will stick down like so okay so you can see mine's meeting up there with the silver what I might do is actually trim it so it meets up with the white this polka dot instead. So if you see on there, you can see that goes straight up to the silver. I would prefer that rather than it going over the silver. So just play around with it. Now it's up to you where you want it. You might want to have it in the middle. Because I've got these cupcakes and they've got the candle, depending on what you're sticking down, I want them to be lower so that then I can have all this stuff along the top. So again, play around, it's entirely up to you. But before I cut this, I'm going to add this piece on top and then trim it afterwards. So it doesn't matter that this is longer. I'm just going to pop some tape right down through the middle and then line this right up to the edge. And you've got a nice border on the top and the bottom. And just stick that all the way down your strip. So, and then I'm just flip it over and trim that. And 
then like I said I'm going to trim either side equally. I don't want to take more off one side because I've already folded it. Make sure that fold line is in the middle there and then you can just, because this is mirrored cardstock, I can just put a little indent with my scissors rather than pen and then I know where I need to cut. And just so I make sure I get it nice and straight, I'm just going to bring my trimmer in here and just tidy that up. Like so. And then I can lay that down. You can see now that meets perfectly. So then if you hold your thumb down, actually you have to refold it because we've popped that bit over the top. So just go back in and give it that kind of concertina fold. So you've got a W. And then we're going to stick that one so it lines up with the edge of the white layer there. And this one so it lines up with that one. And that is how the card will be. And you can see there that point will not come out the edge. Okay. So you don't want to put anything there. But when you open it, that's your pop-out piece. So again, I'm just going to add fat. Because I'm sticking on glitter, I'm going to use my strong glue here. If you've got red tape, that will work really well as, as well. But because I've got a bit of glitter and then like a textured surface there, I'm just going to add this glue. So I'm going to do, let me just check. I think I came up about an inch. Yeah, it's about an inch because I'm using this particular cupcake. So I'm going to stick that one there. Lie this down. Make sure that fold of this is lining up with the middle fold there. And then just stick that down for a second. And there you have your pop-up. Now, if you turn it upside down, you could have things hanging from this. So when they open it, that's really, really fun as well. Again, loads and loads of, you know, ways to adapt this. You could have two and have something in the middle. It's just, it's just really fun. So now I'm going to stick a cupcake on every folded piece. So I've got four folds, haven't I? I've got one here, one there, one there, and one there. So I'm going to have this one there. Actually, no, I'm going to have the yellow finish with the blue. So I'm going to have the yellow there the blue on that one and then the yellow on that one like so and then I can have my happy birthday there I've got this bunting that's going to be coming down here and then I've got these stars which are going to be all over I might change them I might do the yellow stars actually anyway you're going to see me now I'm just going to go and get these all stuck down Okay, so now you can see all of my cupcakes and it closes up. Like I said, you don't want that hanging out. You can see that it just hides inside. So now I'm just going to stick all of these bits down. Okay, so there is the card. I'm going to die cut some stars in the holographic card, I've decided now, because that's such a busy background, those other stars were getting lost, so I've just stuck three of them on the front there. But there is the card. How cool is that? So I'm showing you with the front quite plain in terms of the background and then busy inside and you can see the cupcakes and then this style you've got busy on the outside and then plainer on the inside with all the cupcakes. I love both, I think they both look really really fun but there's two variations there to give you some inspiration so gorgeous cards, really easy to make and I think it's a good use of using your dies so have a little look, see what you've got, you know this would be great for a guys card, imagine all different cars on here or you know a hobby that they enjoy on each of these panels, I think that would look really fun so yeah have a go, remember to share them over on Mixed Up Crafters Facebook group and I'll be back again soon with another tutorial, thanks for watching, bye!